Power Rangers Legacy Wars. Hey, what's going on, fellow Rangers? Welcome back to another video on Power Rangers Legacy Wars. My name is Jonathan Snow, and today we are going to do Master of the Fists, the Warrior Boost for Akuma, and then we should have a video with the same thing with Chun Li and Guile in the future in the upcoming days. So, so far, I actually want to really get Akuma because he's really good. Uh, one thing to note is that Warrior Boost is something very new, and I really hope anyway continues on doing this. It says a warrior boost upgrades to warrior's abilities and talents to challenge level. So meaning that when you unlock him, when you do the initial unlock, we're going to actually go to him now so you guys can actually see exactly what I'm talking about. So if you click on him, uh, all his level, like right here, his health and all his attacks are level one right now. If you actually do the warrior boost, they all become level eight without you having to spend any of your upgrade orbs, which is really nice. And also the same thing with his talent tree. Uh, it will actually level up all of his talent tree up to this line where it says talents below this line is not used for challenge. So all of this is going to get filled up and you don't have to use any of your essence, which is actually really awesome. So with that being said, that's that's what that means with the warrior boost. So we're going to go ahead and do some box opening to get Akuma's warrior boost mode. And if you actually look at the rewards, every time you do, every time you unlock a box, you actually get a guaranteed shard of him. As well as there is a percentage chance where you can actually get additional 34.6% uh, rate. So that's pretty awesome as well. Uh, with that being said, uh, like I said, all the way up here, you get like six of them. You get eight of them, 12. And you get his assists as well, 15 assists. All the way up to like 10, 10, which is insane. So we're going to see right now how much, uh, you know, if you do the full 16 uh, steps, how many extra Akuma shards you actually get. And... Uh, you know, what level does he become? So that's going to be pretty awesome to see. So right now we have him at level 1. As well as his assist is level 1 too. So we're going to see how many shards, uh, extra shards we can get. And there we go. See, that's, that's pretty awesome. Claim here. There we go. Because I am actually very curious if we'll probably be able to get him to level 3 status. And if we can do that, that is actually pretty good. Uh, a lot of times, a legendaries... For them to be useful in the ladder mode, uh, normally it would probably be minimum level 4 to level 3. For them to be at least uh, decent enough where they can actually do damage and stuff like that. So, that to me, that's where you have to be, you know, around legendary wise you to see if um, you can actually get them to be very viable in the ladder mode. Because ladder mode actually is all about, you know, essence tree and your talent tree and stuff like that. And you always want to have that boosted up as much as you can because, you know, health and damage is very important in... There we go. We got actually a nice shard there for Akuma. But uh, for the for the, for the ladder mode, you want us to make sure all that is filled up because that's where it really counts. But the good thing is in challenge modes, like we're over here where we're going to play later on with Gao's Defend Challenge, it actually doesn't matter. All you have to do is have your character at the ability line uh, filled up and then that's pretty much it. So it's pretty good. So it makes everybody pretty much on par to the same thing. And look at that, four shards. Oh my goodness, he's almost at level two. Uh, I, I wonder, I wonder how high you can actually get him. I think level, I think, I think uh, for legendaries, I think it's level seven is max. And then level nine is for uh, uh, epics. For rares, I think it's, it might be 10. It might be 10. And I think, uh, and Commons is level 12 or 13, something like that. I think it's 13. But yeah, we're going to see how much, uh, what the initial deals. And this is actually pretty good. Like, if I could keep getting Akuma uh, shards every single drop, for, especially, for the, especially for the leader, uh, that's going to be very, very strong. And also, his assist is bananas. <laughs> his assist is one of the best assists currently in the game, even though it's a 6 cost. The six cost definitely is very viable because it does one. It does so much damage. Look at that. Now we have a level two Akuma. It does so much damage. It's very. It's an instant hit. So it's it's pretty much impossible to block unless you actually predict your opponent is actually going to use it. And uh, yeah, and, and it instantly picks you up in the air. So even if it hits you once, you're up in the air and you can't defend it. So you're you're pretty much vi um, vulnerable to the whole. Uh, you know, attack damage. 
So, which to me, that kind of sucks. <laughs> and that kind of sucks, but, um, oh, we're actually running out of power crystals, too, so that is actually going to be a thing, too. I actually did not realize that. So, we might have to do a bundle deal here coming up very shortly, which I think we're probably going to have to do that. Because uh, I actually totally forgot. <laughs> power crystals is a thing. <laughs> There we go, we got some free uh, Korag shards there. All right, so we are at 800. Uh, it needs, you need 800 power crystals. We are currently at number 12 out of, my bad, it's not out of 16, it's out of 20. So we definitely need to pick up some more power crystals. So we'll be right back. Uh, we gotta go purchase some more, so stay tuned. All right guys, so we are back now. I went ahead and purchased some more power crystals. And here we go, we're gonna continue on moving forward with this box opening. And now uh, we're going to see, like I said, we're going to see how much uh, with all the extra shards that we get and all the initial shards that we're getting throughout the whole deals, see how high level Akuma could be with just the initial purchase. There we go. Here we go. Apply. Here comes the boost. Look at that. Level 8. And then instantly... Unlocking all his level one talent tree. Nice. So here we go. That's the warrior boost number one. We still got another six more openings to do. So we actually get the leader to do that. Claim two there. Claim ten. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of. Uh, that is like a lot of assist shards right there. And he is really good. He, he's definitely a mainstay on my team. A lot of people, if you're doing like draft mode, to be honest, <laughs> if you're allowed to play with the Akuma assists, the first two assists I would probably ban automatically is, is definitely Akuma assist and probably go Zio. Like, guarantee. There's like no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Like, that's an automatic ban for me. Because they're just too good. They're just too good of assists. All right, there we go. We got 10 more shards of him. Get two more there. We got some bonus rewards. Hopefully, with these bonus rewards, if we get some legendaries, that's definitely be very beneficial. I mean, I love free legendary shards. All right, here we go. We're at number 16 out of 20. So we got four more boxes left to go. Can we get some more free Akuma shards? There we go. That's what I like to see. There we go. Two more. 15. And uh, the Epic Essence 2 is, is definitely very crucial because as you level them up, Epic Essence gets to, I think like, it's like five to six, seven hundred Epic Essence just to increase uh, one one little uh, a node there, which is pretty interesting. Uh, man, we didn't get him there. Here we go, two here. Claim two. Look at that, 75, wow. He might, oh, he might be at level three right now on that assist. Claim some more legendary essence. All right, we're offer 18. Two more to go. There we go. Some more extra shards. I love to see that. Dirt. Look at this 12. That's insane. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, man. I'm gonna have so much common essence. It's not gonna even be funny. I wish there was like a system where you can actually like uh. You know, use, you know, like a fuse common essence into like epic essence. Like, after a certain amount, you can, you know, like say if you need like a thousand for like one epic essence or something like that. I don't know. Look at that 20. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. This is the, op the epic moment we've been waiting for is the final purchase of this. All right, here we go. Number 20. Can we get some extra legendary shards? Ah, we didn't. Okay, here we go. Claim 10. That's insane. Claim 10. <laughs> here we go. We got bonus reward. I wonder what this is going to be in here. Okay, no legendaries there. Claim bonus reward. Here we go. Warrior boost activate. Boom. Look at this, level 8. 
like I said, level 8 is not that hard to get up to, but the thing is though, you save, you know, you pretty much save your essence and your orbs, because your orbs are very, very expensive too, because once you get to the higher levels, sometimes you need over 100k orbs just to get the, um, just to actually level up a moveset. So there he is, the offer is still there it seems like. Yeah, it looks like you can do it all over again, up to number 12 offer. Wow, that is crazy. So now let's go ahead and see Akuma. Uh, so we have 80 shards doing the 1 through 20 deal. Let's see if you can get, actually get him to level 3, and yes you can. You can actually get him to level 3 doing this one initial deal. Um, that is pretty, pretty insane. And let's see, well, what about his assist? His assist might be even level 4. Or almost to level 4. Level 3 assist. Yeah, so see, we're about halfway to level 4 assist as well. So that is um very, very interesting. Um, should we do some gameplay? Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to uh, compete in ladder mode, to be honest. Let me see, level... This is still level 1. See, you need 70 epic essence. Down here, you need 320, so it's it's a lot. It, gets, it definitely gets very expensive. And same thing with the assist. Uh, you know, when you get down here, look at 320, look at 1360, so, you know, it does get very, very costly. Hmm. Uh, let me go ahead and see what I'm going to do here if I'm going to level this up. Uh, if you go ahead here, see like 16,000, that's still a lot of orbs to, to, you know, to level up this guy, so. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we are back. So I went ahead and did some, a little bit of tweaking. So I have level nine health, level nine, um, his fireball. I actually completed his level one talent tree as well. So it did definitely get expensive there. Uh, for his assist, I did the same thing. I boosted up to level 10. So I added two more levels to that. And for his talent tree, I, upped, upped, um, I went ahead and went to level one, completed it. So because like I said, it gets very expensive, like 160. Uh, I kind of don't want to do that just yet. So we're going to go ahead and take him into ladder mode. I'm going to use Kimmy Assist because Akuma definitely suffers for from HP. Like, this is our final stats. It's only 7,000 HP, so that's very, very low uh, for ladder-wise. Um, you know what? I probably could take out this Akuma, to be honest, his Akuma Assist, and uh, actually put maybe Movie Zack in just because he has a very uh, high health pool. And uh, mine is pretty leveled up, so see, we'll go up to 10,000 HP, a 3,000 difference. So I think I kind of might want to do this instead. So we're going to go ahead and showcase uh, Akuma there. Uh, let's see. Let's see. If we take out Kimmy and uh, put his assist in and see how much health uh, we got. So we're at 10,000, whereas we're still at 7,000. So you know what I mean? Like It's very, very situational. Um, what we'll do is we'll probably play one game with the 7,000 health, but like I said, I'm on very high in the ladder mode, so a lot of players are going to be over 10 to 11 to 13,000 HP, so we might lose this one round, but I definitely do want to just showcase his assist, and then we'll probably go ahead and play about maybe two or three uh -huh. more games with Akuma with... Um, a movie Zack and Kimberly assist because like I said this is ladder mode so you really want to have your HP high as much as you can because you're gonna take a lot of damage and like I said uh, Kuma is very squishy his health is very very low for what he is so he definitely needs some health buffs from his uh, teammates or you know his um, assists so we might lose this one here all right so this is actually a, a 9,000 so we might be pretty okay here Look at this, look at his assist, so strong. We'll take that hit. Oh, I was I was hitting that button there. He's probably gonna uppercut me, yeah. Look at how much damage we took already. We're gonna go ahead and wait, wait. Whoop. See, he can't even react to that. Uppercut, ooh, we actually missed that by like a half an inch, seriously. We're probably gonna lose right here. Oh, call the assist out again. Activate the, the special mode. Hold assist one more time, and then fireball for victory. Look at that critical hit. Like I said, his assist, you can't block that, seriously. You cannot. It's really insane how fast it is. Uh, I definitely think that they should decrease the speed on that because it is too fast. Way too fast. So I'm probably going to go ahead and, uh, I don't know. Since we won that one, <laughs> I expected us to lose. But uh, since we won that one, we'll continue playing with our 7,000 HP. 
Like I said, definitely not the most viable team I would use in a ladder mode just for that specific reason for the health deficit uh, that you are going to concur. So we're going to continue on going. Like I said, for me personally, like a lot of my characters that I have, a lot of them are actually not leveled up to the point where they should be competitive. So that's why I would use somebody like Ryu instead on ladder mode because uh, he is a common and he has actually very, very good stats for a common. So with that being said, hopefully we can find an opponent. And this is also another point too where you can't find an opponent. Once you get so high up in the ladder mode, uh, if people are not playing in that specific, you know, ranking, then it's kind of hard to find a match, even for the North American players. I know a lot of people from different countries actually have a, a harder time to find opponents. So here we go. All right, Mr. G. Oh, man, this health might be insane. Here we go. Let's see how much HP you have. Whew, 10,000. Okay. Fireball. We missed that one. We gotta be careful with his upper hit. There we go. Fireball there. We with that nice stagger. I love the stagger too. Yeah, see that even that even that's really insane. Oof, look at that damage. Uppercut. Look at that, that nice assist hit. Ooh, he blocked that. Nice block. And there we go. We're probably gonna take an L here. Yup. Backflip for the victory. Like I said, if I had another 3,000 HP, maybe the battle could be a little bit different. But I'll tell you, it's it's definitely something when uh when you're up there in the higher uh, tier, it's it's definitely a big difference. All right, so we're probably gonna <laughs> we're probably gonna go ahead and switch out Akuma Sis. But like I said, Akuma Sis really strong. I uh, definitely don't recommend it in ladder mode, especially if you're very high up there. Uh, you need some type of health boost. So we're gonna go ahead and continue on. Let's see what we can do. Uh, but if you want to, like in friendly mode, friendly mode, you could definitely use double Akuma. That definitely works. Just because friendly mode pretty much evens out everybody. It's almost the same level somewhat. Uh, some some characters might have a little bit more health than others just because of, how, you know, how they naturally are in stat-wise. But besides that, yeah, you can definitely do double Akuma on friendlies. Just bring an extra assist that has a lot of health. Alright, we're going to continue on. If this takes too long, I'm probably just going to cut this video until we find actually find a game. There we go. Alright, opponent found. Who is next? This time we have a little bit of more HP. Alright, let's see. Who is our opponent? Prepare for battle. Alright, we have Corey. I can't even pronounce that. <laughs> can't even pronounce that. Fireball! There we go. And to Zach. Man, that stagger is definitely very strong, too. Nope. You, when you're fighting against Rita, you always want to keep on moving. Just because of the way uh, her movesets are, you don't want to stay still. What are you doing? Yeah, you want to keep on moving here. Ooh, get him with the uppercut. One, two, three. And then we're going to catch him with the fireball. It's over! Look at that damage. Then I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know your thoughts is on Akuma. Are you guys going to go for his deal? Let me know what do you think about his assists. Um, should, should, should it be a little bit nerfed? Just a little bit. Just a little bit tweaked. But until then, once a ranger, always a ranger. And I'll see you guys in the next video of Power Ranger Legacy Wars. Peace out.